A beautiful look there, peering down on the National Mall of Washington, D.C. It's the Phillies and the Nationals, and it's next. Nighttime baseball now from the district as you get a look inside beautiful Nationals Park in Washington. Game one here in the month of August between the Phillies and the Washington Nationals. Hi again, folks. Welcome back to Phillies baseball here on the show. Alongside me are Major League veterans Steve Lyons and Eric Karros. And Steve, let's talk about the two starters that take the baseball here tonight. Yeah, and you've got a couple of guys here that aren't afraid to challenge you at the plate. They're not afraid to let you put the ball in play and let their fielders make the plays behind them. That should make for a pretty good matchup. The leadoff hitter makes his way toward the plate, and we are ready for baseball. Opposite field to left, and he is going to have extra bases to start the evening. And he is into second base with a leadoff double. And you know what, guys? I think this is what you call an early statement right there. This is the first pitch of the game, and he doesn't just go after it. He lashes at this thing. He's going to wind up on second with a leadoff double. Hello. So the shortstop, Jimmy Rollins, will stand in now, looking to get something to the right side with that leadoff man at second to start the ball game. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. No one out with a runner at second. Swing and a ground ball to first. And it's a productive first out as that runner is able to advance 90 feet up to third here. And this inning's going exactly to plan. You get the leadoff double, then a ground ball to the right side by your number two hitter moves him over to third. Now you're set up for the big boys to drive him in. Chase Utley will get his first shot at it here, and he's got to be hoping to turn things around because you see the numbers over the last five games. Not much going on there at all. Now a swing by Utley as he launches this one out to deep right field. But he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Well, that's all he's hoping to do right here. Just get that thing airborne and get that first run of the game home. He does his job, picks up the RBI. Ryan Howard will dig in. Currently fifth in the National League in batting to begin play. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Pretty well hit. Deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. And a sinker's in there for a called strike, and he forges ahead nothing in two. And now with the 0-2 count, he's got probably five different pitches he can throw here. So as a hitter, what are you going to do? And this is fouled back and out of play. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. So one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. On now to the bottom of inning number one. It's the Phillies one. The Nats coming to bat. You're watching Major League. Ian Desmond will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. And that misses ball one. Yeah, looked like he hit the target. That's a tough pitch to lay off, but he made it pan out. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2-0 now. 
And he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. and oh. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. Yeah, you know, he probably got the fastball he was looking for. But on 2-0, and oh, you can look for one pitch in one spot. And if it's not in that spot, you take it. In there, and it's full 3-2. and two. Well, That may have been the last pitch in the at-bat that he could do something with. He's not going to get anything better than that. And this is going to be a foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. And this is lined into left field for their first hit of the ball game. Anthony Rendon will get his first shot down, and he's seen that average climb a bit here recently thanks to what he's done over the course of these last five ball games. On the move is Desmond. Pitches a cold strike. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. That misses one and two. And even on one and two now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down looking. You've got to put this ball in play. And there to take it is Utley for route number one. Bryce Harper will get his first opportunity now. 14 home runs to his credit so far this year. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And this ball's hit high and deep toward the corner and right. And that's taken in near the line as the runner tags from second. Desmond's around third, heading for the plate. And the run will score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. Batting fourth, first baseman. Albert Pujols will stand in now. He homered in the ball game last night. The fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. Oh. You still come after him now on 2-0? Oh? I think you have to be a little careful, but yeah, I don't think you can just give up on him. In front of the changeup there is this is chopped foul at home plate. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Well, this will be foul off to the right out of play. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. So one run here on one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. Marlon Bird will stand in. A big power threat here, to say the least, currently third in home runs in the National League. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at-bat. It's nothing in one. And on cue, here are the National League home run leaders I referred to a moment ago. And this is hit hard up the middle. And a base hit here to open up the second. And this is something they've worked on in the batting cages, taking some of the movement out of his swing. Much more compact now, and he's seeing some definite results. Dominic Brown will get his first opportunity now, looking to extend that hitting streak, which stands at eight games and counting coming in. And he'll lay off a first pitch sinker, missing down and in for a ball, 1-0. and And this is fouled back and out of play. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Let's go, Nat. Wait. 
And they'll have another here as this is into right field for a base hit. And a good at bat there as that in fact stretches his hitting streak out to nine games now. Carlos Ruiz will dig in for the first time here. Looking to change his fortunes a bit as he's seen that average dip these last four or so games. Lays off 1-0. Bird off second, now the pitch. And that's too high, ball two. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. In the air to straightaway center field. Hairston is right there, one down. The relay throw, and they've got a man caught in the rundown. Now they tag him out between second and third, and it's a double play. And now a triple play as he couldn't get back to the bag. And Ryan Zimmerman will stand in now, and he's certainly one to be wary of as you see the numbers there scorching hot these past 10 ball games. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. And we're going to see a lot more of this because this is a guy who's let it be known that he will work inside. He'll even back you off the plate if he has to. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. And Rollins will throw him out one away. Tyler Moore will stand in, hoping to perhaps pick up a base hit so we can climb over that Mendoza line. And the middle infielders are staying busy here. Another ground ball, this time out to second. So that'll go down as an E4, as he certainly had his problems that time at second base. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Jose Lobaton will dig in. And this season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average down in the 230s. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. A man at third with one away. And this is going to be a foul ball. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. And boy, what a battle brewing here as he fouls yet another pitch into the seats. Still stuck on 0-2. Now a pitch swung on and hit to the left side. But this is going to find the seats a foul ball. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's 1-2. and two. Can't imagine guys like that too much. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Doug Fister will take a long look down here as he may be bunting to avoid the double play. And they elect to have the pitcher bunt with one gun as he puts this one down. A tag for one. Ian Desmond will stand in. He singled to lead off the home first. Pitch in the dirt, and that gets away. And he's going to make it into third base now, as I believe that'll be scored as a wild pitch. And so far, throughout his entire start, he's had very little go right out there on the mound for him. And this is just going to add to the misery, as that pitch will be scored a wild pitch. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here, as the fastball misses for ball two now. Three and oh now. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. And even though you got a two-run lead, you don't want to be leaving too many guys in scoring position out there. That could come back to bite you later. And he missed with it there. Ball four. It's a two-out walk with the runner still at third. Runners off for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And he'll be in there at second without a throw, in fact. 
There's a hot shot out to left center over the head of the shortstop Rollins, a base hit. And the second run is in. It's now a 5-1 game. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Oh, might not have been where he was hoping to put that pitch, but he somehow gets a swing on it anyway. Strike one. And he starts to go after it. Question was, did he hold up in time? Yes, indeed, says the third base umpire. Hit hard, but foul. Four runs here in this half inning. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Surprised that the bullpen hasn't swung into action yet? Yeah, you know, now that you mention it, I think I'd at least get a couple guys up there scurrying around down there thinking about ordering a pizza or something. Albert Pujols will get a shot now with two on and two out here in inning number two. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Yeah, you know, as a pitcher, sometimes you can just say, hey, that one got away from me. It slipped. But I think that one would be a tough claim to make. This one definitely doesn't pass the eye test for me. I'm a little bit surprised that the home plate umpire is letting that thing go. Ryan Zimmerman will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. And this is a spot where you got a chance to put away a team early. So this becomes a very important at-bat for both teams. Good eye there by young Zimmerman as he moves ahead in the count two and one. Oh, and this could be trouble now. It's three and one. He is definitely not a guy that's going to back down out there. Right after the hit. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And the second run will score to make this a 7-1 ball game. Tyler Moore will try it again. He reached on an error and came around to score his first time. In there, no balls and a strike. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Two men are on with two men out. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. So a great inning there. Cody Ashey will come forward now to start the inning. And with his guys down six in the early going, they're going to need to put something together here or risk being blown out. Yeah, and I think the big thing here is you've got to come up with something. Even if it's just one run, you've got to let those guys over there know that you haven't given up and that you're going to fight them until the last out. And this will be fouled away. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Here's Desmond now at short. A few steps to his left. He's got it. Throw to first in time. And the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And, you know, it's pretty safe to say that anytime you give a guy seven runs of support here in the first half of a ball game, he's probably going to be okay out there. And he gets the first out of this inning here. A.J. Burnett will dig in here. And here is strike one call to the 37-year-old veteran up there. Nothing in one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world here to mix in a take every now and again. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and yes, he went around. It's strike three. Number 19 will try again here. He doubled to kick off the ball game and later came around to score the game's first run. Oh, and he turns beautifully on that fastball as this is pulled into right for a base hit. Uh, you could see him just basically jumping at that first pitch. He pulls it into right field for a solid base hit. So a runner at first with two away. And that'll bring in the former MVP, shortstop Jimmy Rollins. Now an off-speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. 
Boy, a two-out single, now nearly a hit by pitch. You've got to be careful right here not to let this inning get away from you. Runner goes for second. Pitch inside the throw, and he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Phillies go down quietly there. They're down. Scott Hairston makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Now a fastball right by him from Burnett. It's nothing and one. Yeah, and you don't have to look much further than that location right there to see why he's been struggling. That pitch is right down the middle to start this at-bat. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And this will find its way to the 335 sign. And a good decision to push it that time. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. Jose Lobatone will stand in now with the runner at second following the leadoff double. Yep, more hot water here to start the inning. And it's right back into that stretch again. And this is starting to become a theme for him. Here's a pitch popped straight up. Playable behind the plate for Ruiz. And in front of the screen, he'll look it into the glove for the first out of the inning. Now batting. Doug Fister will stand in, and you have to figure that he'll likely be swinging the bat now. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. And he goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit well out toward deep left field. Brown is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Ian Desmond will dig in. He walked and later scored last time. Now a ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. Fouled back. And this is on the ground to third. And a close play at the bag, but a good stretch by the first baseman got the out, and the inning is over. Nationals leave one. They're on top seven. Jimmy Rollins will lead it off here for Philadelphia to be followed on deck by Chase Utley. Jimmy Rollins. Well hit, deep right center field. And the fourth inning has begun with a home run. So a solo shot off the bat of Jimmy Rollins. Number 22 on the year, and it's a 7-2 game now. Chase Utley will dig in. He drove in a run with the sacrifice fly his first time. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Hairston is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. And you know, he's kind of going through a stretch right now where the ball just isn't jumping off his back. He's got a good pitch to hit right here. Looked like he put a good swing on it, but it just didn't go anywhere. Ryan Howard will dig in with one in and one away. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. On to first, and the shift pays off there as Howard is retired for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And standing in now is Marlon Bird. And he puts a pretty good jolt into this one, high and deep to center. But he'll get there as he flags it down just shy of the wall. And with that, the side is retired. Anthony Rendon will start things off here for Washington with Bryce Harper on deck due to hit second. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. Ball one. Now a swing and a ball pulled down the line to third. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. Bryce Harper will stand in. He's one for two so far. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. You guys surprised at all that that man doesn't have the bullpen going yet? 
Well, he's showing a lot of faith in his starter, but to me, you've at least got to get someone stretching down there. Move him around a little bit. And Rollins will throw him out one away. Kevin Franzen will have to get loose in a hurry now as he'll come in and run following the injury. Albert Pujols will stand in for the third time now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Too tight with that one. 3-0. and And right now... He shouldn't have any... Oh, and meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. And now you can see that dugout is up in arms, and they want something to be done about it. And I believe something is going to be done about it as the home plate umpires come out, and he's issued a warning to both benches. One more, and you're gone. And I think that's exactly what you have to do. When it's the same guy that's gotten hit twice now, that's a little more than coincidental. So hopefully this will put an end to all the fireworks. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And this one gets past Howard down the line. It's a fair ball. And they'll add another to the total. It's 8-2 to two now. Tyler Moore is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Oh, that's a good fastball right there. And you had to figure that he was looking for... Now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. The throw to the plate. Oh, and Brown's throw is right there. He is gone at home plate. Boy, this was lining up to be a close play. It's a base hit, and he comes up throwing. And if this ball's offline by a foot or two, I think he's in there. Instead, it is right on the money, and they nail him trying to score. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. He'll send it the short way to Utley at second, and that's that. Only one in the inning for the Nationals. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Nationals lead. Kevin Franzen will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play second here. Now playing second base. Dominic Brown will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. The pitch count there, one pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. And a sinker is over that time. It's back to 2-1. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. And he's got a little bit of work to do now to avoid that first walk. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And this is going to be extra bases here to kick off the fifth. The relay, not in time. And he's in there with a double. Oh, that one sounded great off the bat. That's a good, crisp line drive right here to start the inning, and he'll make it up to second with a leadoff double. Carlos Ruiz will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now a pitch sent on the ground to Desmond at short. On to first is Desmond, and that's in time for the first out. Cody Ashey will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Here's a swing and a shot back up the middle. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Really, there shouldn't be any mistakes like this with a base open and the pitcher on deck. 
This is much too good a pitch to hit, and he takes advantage of it and drives home the run. Andres Torres is going to grab a bat and pinch hit, so as we surmise, that'll be it for A.J. Burnett. First pitch to him. And here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing and one. Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0-2. And this is what he needs out there right now. He has to find some confidence in those secondary pitches, and that's a good change up there. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Got to be careful here with a run in already. You don't want to let one get away from you and lose the possibility of a double play. To two balls and two strikes now. And the hope was that he would have chased one of those pitches, but now on two and two, I don't think you fool around anymore. And he changed up on him here, but this is a foul ball. Hard hit back up the middle. Step on the back for one. Over to Pujols, and it's a double play that'll get him out of the inning. Phillies get a couple of hits here, and it leads to one on the score. Roberto Hernandez is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game here. Jose Lobatone is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing and one. Oh, and you'll wonder if maybe he decided beforehand just to take a pitch up there first. Too bad for him because that thing was right down Broadway. On a ball hit hard down the line toward the coaching box, it's a foul ball. Ah, oh, had to protect on one and two, and this is a fly ball out to straightaway right field. Under it is Bird as he takes it for out number one. Doug Fister will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Doug Fister. And a first pitch sinker is over for strike one. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. And that's how he'll use that sinker against lefties. Start it down and in and let it work its magic. And a minimum effort at bat that time as the pitch is taken for a strike three called, and he'll go back to focusing on pitching instead. Two away now. Ian Desmond is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Good change up there as he takes command 0-2. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count 0-2. Swing and a shot back up the middle, and that is in there for a two-out base knock. Kevin Franzen will stand in now. A late entrant to the ball game as he'll be making his first plate appearance here in inning number five. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. One left for Washington, but they lead it by a count of eight. Number 19 will dig in here. Two for two with a double thus far. Number 19. And over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Swing and a liner towards second. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Well, I'll tell you what, he had to get up for that one. Sometimes the leap is a little bit more showy, but not here. He was up there a good two or three feet to pull it in. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. And I wish more guys would pitch like this. I mean, look at that pitch count right there. That is really low for this stage of the game, and it's because he's throwing strikes and challenging guys. Out. 
And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Way outside. One and two. Swing, hard hit ball to second. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. And all through this winning streak of theirs, we've seen some great starting pitching. And this has been another very good performance. Good enough to most likely keep that winning streak going. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Here's a hard hit ball. That'll be caught at first by Pujols. Pretty much. Phillies down in order. Can't make any headway into an 8-3 deficit. Bryce Harper is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1-0. 1-0 now is swung on and chopped over to first. And the big fella just takes it to the bag himself for the first down. Albert Pujols will stand in one more time, and fortunately for him, he'll get a fifth chance here to extend that hitting streak. Yeah, he hasn't had the same success the rest of the guys have, but that could all change with one swing. And a slider that time as it's hit on the ground but foul. This for Utley at second. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. Ryan Zimmerman will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. First pitch sinker misses in on the hands that time. It's a ball and no strikes. Fouled straight back. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. Here comes the one-two. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. Unlucky that time, and that ball will end the inning. Ryan Howard will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Some action out in the bullpen. couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Yeah, showing no fear there. He put the pitch right at the letters away, but that guy didn't want any part of it. Oh, one pitch is a high chopper over to the right side, and he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Marlon Bird will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one. And this ball will be chopped foul. A little bit outside, two and one. And this is where a guy who's been around a long time knows, hey, we're not going to make up the difference with just one swing. It's going to take base runners. So that's a good job of being really patient at the plate. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. Dominic Brown will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. And he takes a cold strike. 0-1. Well, these guys sure have been doing a lot of moaning and groaning tonight. He did not like that call at all. Lined hard to center field. Hairston is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire. Tyler Moore will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. 
Good changeup, and it's 0-2. This crowd, likely in the 40,000 range, they've got to like what they've seen so far. Oh, and it's been a complete performance. They need to find a way to bottle this up and keep it going. Now a ground ball towards the hole, and that is through into left, and an 0-2 mistake here results in a leadoff single. This is a very good approach here with two strikes. It's a smart approach. You know, he's not trying to come out of his shoes here. He just makes a good two-strike adjustment and delivers a nice, solid base hit. That's how you do it. And he pulled up in time, but it's a called strike two. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. And that is swung on and missed as Hairston set down for the first down of the inning. Jose Lobatone will get another crack, one for three thus far. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. Therefore, it is Bird now as he's got it for out number two. Well, the only good news that comes out of this at-bat is that he stayed out of the double play. Other than that, this at-bat really didn't achieve a whole lot. Doug Fister will stand in. Called out on strikes his last time. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0-1. Here we go. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. But this will wind up a foul ball. Strike two. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Nationals leave one, but they lead it by a count of eight to three. Carlos Ruiz will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Carlos Ruiz. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. Any question in your guys' minds about bringing the starter back here for the eighth inning? I would have thought seven innings would have been enough, but knowing this guy, he may have talked his manager into letting him stay and go out there for one more inning. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Cody Ashey will dig in. One for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. And there's a ball hit on the first pitch out toward Franson at second. On to first, and he's breezing through the eighth here with two quick outs. The batter, catcher, Roberto Hernandez. Rafael for call. We'll get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Might have thought about it here, but he lays off the breaking ball inside. It's even at one. And this is fouled back and out of play. Three runs, seven hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. And he got him to swing early on the changeup there as this is skied out towards straightaway right. And Harper will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Brad Lincoln is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Ian Desmond will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will get foul for strike two. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Kevin Franzen will stand in. He grounded out his first time. High in the air and deep down the left field line. And it, in fact, lands in the corner. Foul. Eight runs on 12 hits and no errors so far for the Nationals. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. 
and he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. So two down now in the Washington eighth, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. So with a lefty waiting, they'll go to a lefty of their own out of the bullpen here. In the air, down the left field line and deep. And he'll pull this one down a step or two in front of the warning track, and the inning is over. Nationals gone in order, but they lead it by a count of 8-3. to three. Tyler Clippard will come on now, hoping to wrap this one up here in the top of the ninth. Number 19 will be the batter. Two for three with a double thus far. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. One away, and Jimmy Rollins will dig in. He homered back in the fourth. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Yeah, he was trying to do something dramatic right there, but when you think about it, at this point in the ballgame, all you need is base runners. Rollins swings and misses as he's behind here, nothing in two. Oh, you like the way this guy is just going about his business here. He's got a big lead, but he's pitching like it's a tie game here in the ninth. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Swing and he pulls the fastball that time. High in the air toward fairly deep right center. Harper is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. And with the big lead, he can afford to take a few chances with that fastball. And here, this one works out for him because this is nothing more than an easy fly ball. Chase Utley is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Two out, nobody on. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. And you know, sometimes when you're thinking fastball, you try to get moving just a little bit early. And that's a good job of recognizing off speed and then holding back on the swing. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. And this is a strike three called. And a bit of a questionable ending there as the ball game is over. Well, there's another good win for these guys. That pushes their streak up to five in a row now. And it's been a total team effort. Good pitching, good hitting, good defense. They're doing it all right now. And a very good performance offensively for this bunch. But out of everyone, I think we should single out this fellow right here as our top player of the game. Yeah, just two hits in the ballgame, but they were...